Hello there, guys. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the YouTube chat overlay Chrome extension. This is a Chrome extension that lets you select chat messages from a live Google chat, live YouTube chat, and bring it into OBS as a browser source overlay. This Chrome extension, I will shout out uh, a couple of the developers who worked on uh, their own version. So I forked it, modified it, improved it so that it, with this version, it's a browser source extension you can add to OBS, a browser source. The previous versions, you had to do a window capture with a chroma key and it was much more clumsy. Okay. Uh, so right now, I don't have this added to the Chrome extension store. So we're just going to download it uh, to make our lives a little bit easier. We just download we open, we can then drag this folder to our desktop, right? Uh, I already have it extracted. We can now go to Chrome and click the top hamburger buttons, the three dots, and then we can go to more tools, extensions. I already have it installed, but I'll just I'll remove it for now. And then we want to add it. So we go to load unpacked extensions. We go to our desktop, we select the folder you know, we select the folder that we just extracted and then we get the live chat overlay. Okay, now we go to YouTube and when we find a live chat, we go to the top of the chat, we hit pop out. There we go. Now, you'll notice here that we get this prompt. We want to copy and paste the, the, the text that we're given. Okay, we want to change that and yeah, um, We'll be using this now with OBS. The idea is we want to add a browser source. We are going to drop in what we got here. We're going to add in a height, uh, let's say 1920 by 1920. And we're going to add a height width of 1920 and then a height of 250. Um, 250 is an important component of this. It doesn't matter the width, but the height definitely does matter. So now we have the, the, the overlay. It's this bottom little element. And when we click on a chat, we get the message popping up, right? So that's kind of cool. So I'll, I'll move this over here. And now, you know, I'm going to uh, look, maybe I'll be on another computer. Uh, move it over here. Boom, right? Chat message, chat message, chat message. You can just click on them and they just pop up, right? Kind of cool. And if you click clear, it hides it. Boom, clear. Boom clear or I can just go through and just select them um, right so everything tends to work pretty well if an image doesn't exist instead of giving uh, this little broken image icon we just get a, a clean round circle so I, I made some improvements as I mentioned to this app um, and there you go. Now, if you want to customize things, there is a file. Uh, it's this one right here, index.html. You can download this to your local drive. It doesn't have to be hosted on the web. But you can modify the CSS here and you can load this file into OBS. We add the parameters right here, session to the end of it. But we can, in the beginning, just list the file and then session, and then it will work the same. So we can customize the overlay to be whatever we want, color-wise, things like that. Uh, we don't have to modify the extension itself. Um, we just have to modify the index.html file, and we can load that locally. It doesn't have to be hosted on the website. Okay, so that's how we use this Chrome extension. Again, shout outs to the people who actually made the Chrome extension. I just modified it so that it would work. 
via WebSockets and made a custom OBS overlay, et cetera, et cetera. Um, right? So cool. Bye-bye.